So you've just gotten home with your package or you get home and see that a box has been delivered and you open it up, you pull out your jar of Enjoy Dry Wax, you open it up and it's as hard as a rock. And you think that you have been sent a candle instead of hair wax. Well, today I'm gonna to be sharing with you a couple of quick tips of how you can get that wax out of the jar and onto your hair. The first tip I'm gonna share with you is one that I would do more on a regular basis, especially if you live in a colder climate. The key with this wax is it is kinda like a candle because it is literally, it does have wax in it. And so it gets harder the colder it is in your environment. So if you live in a pretty cold environment, you probably may have to do this a couple of times until you get your jar kind of really going. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to try to do to soften this up is take your good old hair dryer, turn it on high heat, low fan speed for about 30 seconds. So mine didn't even take 30 seconds, maybe 15, 20. And what you're going to see is it starts melting. And see, I can easily get a really nice um, a layer, easily scrape that across. Now, just like with a candle, once it cools down, it's gonna set and get a little bit firmer again. So you may have to use your blow dryer just after you finish blow drying your hair, hold it over the jar for about 15, 20 seconds each morning, and then go in with your finger, and you should be able to easily pull out enough wax to then put between your hands, rub it together, and work it through your hair. The second tip I have for you is to pull out your good old tea kettle or just put some water in a cup in the, and microwave it. You don't want it boiling, but you're going to pour it in this cup and then set your jar of dry wax carefully because you don't want to burn your fingers into that hot water. Make sure the lid is closed because you don't want any of that water getting into your wax. Let this sit in here for probably 30 seconds to a minute, depending on how hot your water is. And then we will see if that helped soften the wax. After letting that sit in that cup of hot water, you can take your, your fingernail all around the edge because the edge is gonna be the softest place. Very easily got a very nice, um, pea size amount of that and it's super soft around the edge right now. And then the final tip that I have for you is if you don't have fingernails, I mean, I don't have very long of nails either. Um, if you don't have a nail that's long enough to actually scrape across the surface of the wax to help get it started, pull out a good old butter knife. And one of my subscribers actually did this. She was determined to figure out how to get this started. She took a butter knife and actually kind of stuck it in the middle and broke into it a little bit. And by doing that, not only does it pull up some of the wax that you can then put on your hands and work through your hair, but it will also kind of put a little divide in there so then when you take your blow dryer over the top of it, it's going to heat it quicker, especially in the center. So I hope that those tips helped you. And again, you should not have to do this every time you use the wax. Once you get a little bit deeper into the jar, as you may be able to see here, you start kind of making inroads into the wax and it gets softer and easier to get out. But I hope that these tips helped you, those of you who've been a little bit frustrated and trying to figure out what the scoop is on this wax, hopefully this video helped you. Thank you as always so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.